hey viewers welcome to this video on ns3 in previous video we had discussed about the customized ring topology with four nodes we have learned to make and reuse the code of first node cc file to make customized ring topology right so if you are new to this video then i might suggest that you should watch our previous videos and for your help i may have ping the link of the playlist and of course the last video in the description box or you can click on the i button which is popping on the right top right corner of this video so without wasting much time let's get started with our today's video in today's video we'll be looking at how we can use first.cc file we use the code modifying according to our need to make a mesh topology with four nodes so let's get started guys so actually in the previous video we have seen that how we can generate the ring topology using first.cc file in very depth so we'll be using the same file in this video we'll be modifying that file a little bit and create a mesh topology so actually if you look at carefully at the ring topology and the mesh topology with four nodes then there is no any difference just we have no more number of links in the mesh topology so if you have watched the last video then you will catch up very easily over here so if you remember from the last video then we have marked the nodes with the indices starting with 0 to 3 and if there was a point to point link between node 0 and node 1 then we have given the aliases as nodes 0 1 to group them and aliases as devices 0 1 to represent the devices and so on right in mesh topology over here we just have to add two more links the link between node number 0 to 2 and so let's do that for doing so uh, let's first of all we have to make a group of nodes for that over here in the code as we have done it while making the ring topology we can just add aliases nodes 0 2 and nodes 1 3 for making a group of nodes with index 0 2 and nodes with index 1 and 3 now accordingly we have to add nodes like uh, node 0 2 dot get 0 and dot get 2 now moving forward in the code will not change the link but will add the devices here we need to add the devices for the links between nodes 02 and nodes 13 right so which will which will be uh, making a device let's say utilizing the point to point link that we have created and the nodes group that we have just created using those two things it will form a device now as usual it's ip configuration time here we'll take the ip addresses 58.0.0.0/8 and 59.0.0.0/8 accordingly slash 8 means the subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 ip assignment for new links that uh, we will uh, use and respectively we'll make the interface container for that we just need to copy paste the, the two lines that we have used the previously we'll not change the server and client configuration uh, we'll keep it as it is and with that now we have just uh, need to use the command line and Uh, from the terminal we can use the dot slash ns3 hyphen run command from the ns3 uh, directory which will uh, actually compile the file and eventually generate the mesh topology then uh, we'll use this 
dot uh, xml file that will be created after uh, after we run this file to simulate the animation in net any So yeah, it's a basic, I guess, uh, the alias name error that we can fix by just renaming the interfaces that uh, we have created over here. So yeah, uh, in a hurry, if you are in a hurry, then these type of small mistakes can occur. And additionally, we can add uh, the line of code to generate the netanyahu file, uh, I mean uh, .xml file that we can observe in netanyahu. For that, uh, we just need to go over here in the code section and we need to include uh, the netanym module which is ns3 slash netanym hyphen module dot h header file. Okay, so yeah, uh, and then we can uh, add animation interface uh, that line and now if we again run this code then it should work perfectly. So yeah, as you can see on the screen that code has been successfully compiled and you can observe the outputs. However, we are not going to discuss the interpretation of the output as we have seen it earlier. Now we'll go inside the netanym directory which is uh, outside of this folder, root folder from where we are and then we'll open the netanym application by using this command. Now we'll uh, open that mesh.xml file that we have just generated uh, over here. Yes, this is the file mesh.xml. Now, as you can see, it is a mesh topology, and now we just hit the play button to simulate the output. As you can see, two packets will be sent, and simulation uh, after that. The, uh, the simulation will be completed so yeah that's how you can observe the animation of the uh, mesh topology that we have generated using the code so uh, that's it for this video guys we have seen that uh, how we can uh, generate the mesh topology so i hope you have got the idea that how we can uh, manipulate the files and create the topology uh, that we want or the custom topology that we want so uh, that's it for today's video and we'll meet in the next video till then keep learning and keep exploring